Number 66, how fast can the 150 amp current through a 0.25 Henry inductor be shut off if the induced EMF cannot exceed 75 volts? So in order to solve this, we need the self-inductance formula. It says that the self-induced EMF that is produced when there is a change in current uh, over a certain time period is equal to then the negative self-inductance value of that particular you know, circuit or system multiplied then by the change in the current divided by the change in the time. We're going to get rid of the negative sign because the negative sign is just there to tell us that the induced EMF opposes the natural EMF, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, we want to solve now for time. So here, simply cross multiply these two terms on out. Look at how easy that is to solve, right? Instead of doing all this complicated stuff, just do that little trick. It's really, really straightforward. So there's going to be 2 point, uh, 0.25, that's the self-induct, that's the uh, inductance value, right? Henry's, remember, is the unit of inductance. Then multiplied now by the change in the current. So it says here's the current and it's going to be shut off. So if it starts at 150 and it ends at zero, what's the change? 150. Don't worry about the signage, okay? Sign is just going to tell us directions. It's, we're just interested in magnitudes here. Divided then by the EMF, and that's again 75. So the change in the time here, or the time period, is going to be 0.25 multiplied by 150 divided by 75. So 0.5. So about a half of a second. 0 0.500 seconds. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Check out some more of our videos if you're taking chem or math any particular time. Maybe next semester. Maybe you're taking concurrently. Check out those other subjects, all right? Math, we're doing a lot of pre-calculus, some trigonometry in there too. Um, and uh, yeah, just download the OpenStax books. They're free. And we got all the answers up there. So we'll see you soon.